while Kandahar, Mehman, Ghazni, Jalalabad, and Kabul were the places in which the resistance wars were going on for a long period in Upper Pashtun War. These wars caused a lot of business to the people. Once a powerful nation was divided into two parts, nowadays further divided into four. Their language and culture suffered. This unfortunate nation has always been caught in the wars of others and has been suffering till now. Though the present circumstances are somewhat different, but fighting among them still continues. This is the fact of the Pashtuns, though much has been written on this situation of the people and researches have been carried out by so many Western researchers, and most of these writers have done justice to introduce the Pashtuns in their true perspective, but it is also a fact that most of the prejudiced and biased writers have damaged their image in the outside world, particularly the Hindi and the Mughal writers. The distortion of history and the diplomacies of political vested interests have depicted Pashtun as a warrior alone, and his other national quality, his aesthetics, aesthetic as spiritual quality have been kept in the dark. D. M. Wilbur writes, I quote, the background can make them very treacherous and dangerous enemies of those who try to bully or deceive them. The same writer says in the same book about their land, I quote, sometimes called the crossroads of Asia. The Pashtun land has been a mixing ball and battleground for an area variety of Central Asian, Middle Eastern, South Asian, and even European invaders and settlers, <coughs> unquote. This is the land of the Pashtuns who love their soil more than any other nation on the earth. Their language Pashto has a very rich history of literature, their culture a unique culture, and they are proud of their culture so much that they would never acclimatize anywhere they abort. They are very romantic people and express their feeling in their language. Pashto is the name of language and also a term for a particular culture. The existence of Pashto nation is due to its language Pashto. Pashto too is the name of a people and a race also a term for a standard of character. This particular lifestyle, character and nationhood are thought to be the basic elements of a unique civilization which is called Pashtun Mali. Pashtun Mali is the culture and way of life of the Pashtuns in which all the laws relating to social life are present in unwritten form. Though not a religion, but a very sacred code of conduct, Pashtun love their Pashto so much that it has almost gained the status of a religion. It is so dear to the Pashtun that sometimes in the in some special circumstances, they call it a fifth religion. Because uh, I'll be talking on this uh, in Islam. We have four creeds. Uh, they are called four religions, and the Pashtuns are following the first religion, but sometimes they call it a fifth religion also. <coughs> Because all the Pashtuns are followers of the four periods of Islam, one who has the courage to live a life according to the laws of Pashtun, where you are able to live like a Pashtun, can be called a true Pashtun. Pashtun is a sort of qualification. Those who qualify, they deserve the title of Pashtun. Pashto Pashtuns and Pashtun Bari are inseparable and are interdependent. The language Pashtun is said to be 5,000 years old. Though researchers and linguists have presented different theories about the origin of the race and their language, but if the formation of a nation is based on a language, then Pashtuns can be called an alien race because Pashto is an alien language. Pashto is an ancient language in the group of Indo-Iranian languages. <coughs> Though some of the advanced scholars are critical, <coughs> sorry, Some of the advanced scholars are critical about the term Hindu Iranian. To them, Pashto is so ancient 
that when the alien migrated to west and east some 2,500 years ago, the Pashto and speakers were left in its original about Afghanistan. Though the Pashtuns are famous as warrior and martial race in the international community, their history is full of wars and battles, but the history of their language and literature has many interesting bright colors. To understand Pashtun, <coughs> To understand Pashtun, the understanding of their language Pashto is must. Though the history of the language and its literature could be different from that of the nation, but with Pashto, the mention of Pashtun is inevitable. As I said, Pashto is the language as well as the way of life of the people. So the history of the Pashto language cannot be separated from the history of the people. Living for almost 100 years with the British and having close relations with them, Pashtun still is a dilemma for the whole world as well as their own self. So many people have said and written much about them and the country, but all have already scratched the upper level of the ground. Still they need to go in much depth about them. It is a fact that the history of the Pashtun has never been brought to light. In this regard, only stories, tales, anecdotes are found. The deeds which have been performed by the Pashtun generals and Pashtun kings far away from their country and with the accession to the throne of Delhi is too included. Much details present, but all these deeds are like a short and small event in this long story of the Pashtun. Pashtuns are living in this narrow land between Indian subcontinent and Khorasan since this is but uh, Sir Olive Carolites. <coughs> Where great civilizations have encountered each other, the invading forces have so many times assaulted their mountainous houses like the sea storms. Though the conquerors have passed through their land to establish great kingdoms, but the Pathans or the Pashtuns, who are though the guardians, have never had the opportunity to look at their own history. The country of the Pashtun has no such history which in the modern times can be called a continuous history. This type of history has neither written by the Pashtun themselves nor those who have been passing through this area during so many centuries. Ghani Khan, Ghani Khan is a 20th century poet. He says, the Pathans have no written history but they have thousands of rooms where the cards stone tell their story to 